Months ago, I showed you the Vivo XL by Blue, a manufacturer of budget smartphones headquartered in Miami, Florida. The Vivo XL was a 5.5-inch tablet that packed a lot of value for the money. Now in the late summer of 2016, Blue has partnered with online retailer Amazon.com on marketing a newer, more compact budget handset. How's it going everybody? This is Matt D, and this is the Blue R1 HD. While Blue offers an unlocked model of the R1 HD virtually free of bloatware, the unit you're seeing in this video is exclusively available for Amazon Prime members. While this 16GB version of the phone with 2GB of RAM is priced at only $69, the phone comes with a wealth of Amazon apps pre-installed. To help subsidize the cost of the phone, advertisements for products will appear in the phone's lock screen based on your Amazon.com search history. Honestly, I don't find these curated ads to be too obtrusive when using the phone. In the box, the first thing we see is the phone wrapped in a plastic bag. Underneath that, we'll find a micro USB cable along with a detachable wall adapter rated at 5 volts at 1 amp. Below that, there's the standard warranty and health and safety literature that most of us aren't going to read. Looking around the sides of the R1 HD, we'll find the standard issue 3.5mm headphone jack at the top. The left side of the phone is clean with no notable features on the side rail, which has a cold metallic feel to it. On the opposite side, Blue has placed the volume rocker above the power button. At the bottom, the phone charges via a micro USB port. On the back of the phone, the battery is protected by a removable soft touch plastic backplate featuring the blue logo. At the top, there's an 8 megapixel camera with an LED flash. More on that in a moment. At the bottom rear of the R1 HD, there's a very small, very quiet speaker. I've never experienced a phone with such a quiet speaker since the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Under a layer of Corning Gorilla Glass 3, the Blue R1 HD features a 5-inch 720p IPS LCD display with a pixel density of 294 ppi. At the heart of the Blue R1 HD is a MediaTek MT6735 system on a chip backed up by a Mali T720 GPU. The unit I purchased has 16GB of built-in storage and 2GB of RAM, while Blue made a second model that comes with 8GB of storage and 1GB of RAM. However, both models come with a micro SD card slot that will accommodate cards of up to 64GB in size. As for the rear camera on the Blue R1 HD, the camera packs an 8 megapixel sensor with an f2.0 aperture, autofocus, and an LED flash. This primary shooter will record video in up to 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. Moving around to the front of the phone, the secondary camera houses a 5 megapixel sensor that is accompanied by an LED flash something that the front-facing cameras on most of today's flagships don't have. The R1 HD offers GSM and LTE connectivity via two micro SIM card slots. The phone can connect to LTE networks on bands 2, 4, 7, 12, and 17. In addition to the usual Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and GPS connectivity options, the phone comes with an FM radio. Finally, all of this hardware is being powered by a non-removable 2500 mAh battery. The R1 HD is running Android 6.0 Marshmallow out of the box. While the Vivo XL I talked about in previous videos had an Android launcher that did not come with an app drawer, the R1 has a near stock Android software experience save for the Amazon software that came pre-installed on my device. As I mentioned previously, the $60 variant available to Amazon Prime members will display ads on the lock screen as well as a removable widget that appears on the home screen. As for the suite of Amazon apps built into the phone, you'll find Amazon Music, Amazon Photos, Audible, Amazon Drive, Prime Now, Alexa, IMDb, Goodreads, Amazon Video, Amazon Kindle, and the official Amazon app. Since the phone is running Android 6 out of Marshmallow, the phone's operating system comes with Google Now on tap in the Doze battery saving feature, while the user is also given control over app permissions. Since I unboxed the phone, I've started taking a lot of pictures while recording video on the R1 HD as well. However, I'll talk more about the phone's cameras in future videos. Overall, that was my unboxing and first look at the Blue R1 HD. As always, if you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.